Where Led Zeppelin's Dazed and Confused really came from. I'm John Bowden from Rock History Music. This is our interview with Jim McCarty of the Yardbirds. He's still with the band. But in this clip, we talk about the fact that the Yardbirds did play Led Zeppelin's future song, Dazed and Confused. But even though it took Led Zeppelin, and they're known for borrowing a little bit, a long time to even acknowledge the real writer of Dazed and Confused, Jake Holmes. The Yardbirds did, in fact, acknowledge him in the beginning. Remember now, Jimmy Page was in the Yardbirds in the latter part of the incarnation of that first band. Went on to form the new Yardbirds, which turned into Led Zeppelin. But Dazed and Confused was not their song. Jake Holmes wrote it. What did yeah, you think yeah. of that? What did you think of that track? Well, well, it was always a great, it was a great song. And um, with with Jimmy in the band, we were a good, we were a good team playing live because Jimmy was very calm, and he wasn't like Jeff that he didn't lose his rag, and and he kept together. And so playing was good. It was just a four piece. It was easy, but there wasn't so much creativity going on. If you know what I mean, and we were always looking for new songs, and we happened to be playing in New York with this folk singer, this guy Jake Holmes, and who played this sort sort of folky stuff. And then all of a sudden, he went into this sort of riff, you know, this descending riff. And I thought, well, this is this is great. What what a great what a great song. This is really moody. So I went down and bought his album down in um, Greenwich Village. And we decided to do the song and do our version. And then, you know, when we broke up, Zeppelin kept doing it. And more, they did it more or less the same. You didn't mind him using for a short time the new Yardbirds? Well, we, we were so fed up with it. We were just, Keith and I were so fed up with it. With all the touring, we were so wasted. You know, we just wanted to um, just wanted to have a break. That young kid who left the job to join that band, and I know this is a weird question, but who was that guy? Who was that young version of you? Well, how would you describe him? <laughs> well, a little bit, well, a little bit lost and a little bit, uh, you know, guided by his mother in a way, you know, doing what she wanted. Um but I, but I was into a, you know, I, I was starting to be an actuary and I liked all that math stuff. It was all fascinating to me. So it was another world. But but I'm, I'm glad I never went for it, you know. But they're connected. I mean, they are quasi-connected. Oh, yeah, yeah. The, the maths and all that. Yeah. The music, the maths and the... Yeah, exactly. We'll have more from Jim McCarty, the only remaining member of the classic lineup of the Yardbirds in the next few days and look in the description for when we release the entire interview with Jim talking about all the great guitarists, of course, most notably Eric Clapton, Jimmy Page, Jeff Beck, and all the stories of the Beatles in the description of this video. I'm John Bowden. This is Rock History Music. Music.